Cedar Creek students, three through five. We're going to be doing, a, if you choose to do the jump rope warm up, different ways you can move your feet. So one might be double bouncing, trying to do it as many times in a row as possible. Um, just keep practicing it for uh, 10 minutes to meet that warm up standard. So here's what double bounding might look like. So that would be double bounding. Another one would be Nordic ski jumping. This is where you start with your feet apart, forward and backwards, and we jump and switch our feet, bringing the back foot forward and the forward foot back. Here we go. Okay, another way you can move your feet or another foot pattern would be jumping jacks. That's where you bring your feet apart together, apart together. Here we go. So that would be jumping jacks. Next would be river dance. So this is where you cross and uncross your feet but switching your feet, one time your right foot is forward in front of you, and one time the foot, your right foot goes behind you. Here we go. Keep alternating and switching. Okay, so try and practice any of those form foot patterns as you're jumping the rope, twirling it forward, or if you want to, twirling it back. All right, so I'll give you some options for a good warm-up should you choose to do the jump roping portion.